hi everyone it's blessing again welcome back to my channel so i'm just going to be talking about the difficulties people face when they are answering true false not given type of questions and reading passages i'm going to be giving you tips and examples of how to answer questions um from passages when you're giving true false not given type of questions so um you will be giving statements in the reading passages here and these statements will contain some kind of information the answer will be true if the information that is in the passage agrees with the statements in the question okay the information will be false if the passage and the statement have completely different information for instance if the passage says blessing is black the question says is blessing black the answer would be blessing is black of course so that will be true because that's given in the information and uh, that's given in the passage okay but um or if the question i well i meant if the question says blessing is black okay that will be true that's what i meant okay but if the question if the question says blessing is white and the passage says blessing is black then the answer would be false because the passage and the statements they have com completely different information altogether so the passage shows that the statement is wrong and it contains a mistake which you know because the passage shows what it should actually be and that's blessing is black or blessing is white as the case may be it's going to be not given if for instance the passage says blessing is a woman and the question says blessing is black you know that that information is not given because they've not mentioned what color of skin or what race blessings from okay this means you can't find all the information in the passage and that the passage doesn't contain enough information to show whether it's true or false so when you have a situation like that the answer will be not given it's not going to be false it's going to be not given so people usually confuse false and not given isn't it yeah so um So the difficulties people face with true false not giving kind of questions is um number one they don't ex expect that the questions will be paraphrased so the first one is um paraphrasing paraphrasing because they they don't expect that the questions will be paraphrased so um if the passage says that that blessing is African is possible okay that blessing is african is possible okay yeah i'm just trying to give an example um and the question says um that blessing is african is impossible what would the answer be it will be false because the question in the statements in the passage the information given in the passage says that that blessing is african is possible okay if the question says impossible that is the exact opposite so you you may see exact um up words and opposites given and then if they say that blessing is african is probable and then the question says that blessing is is African is plausible you know probable um okay so if something is probable it is likely okay it is reasonable okay likely okay if something is plausible that's which I'm trying to write on the board Something is probable is likely. If something is plausible, it is reasonable. Okay. So, if the question says it is probable that blessing is probably blessing is African, or it is likely that blessing is African, if you don't know the meaning of probably or probable, and you see likely you might not know that they have the same meaning so that's why i said you need to work on your vocabulary so if you say plausible and reasonable 
okay they have similar meanings all right they have similar meanings okay so if you see plausible probable all these words are so if they say that blessing is african is plausible or they say if they if they change it to objective they reverse the sentence structure and they change it to object verb subject and they say it is plausible that blessing is african people that don't know the meaning of plausible say but the passage says probable why are they using plausible now they wouldn't know whether the answer is true or false or not given then some might pick not given because they can't find the word plausible in the passage whereas the word probable is there and they have the same meanings okay the two of them have the same meaning so yeah all right so these are just examples and these are the difficulties that people face when they're answering questions because they don't expect that the passage would be the questions will be paraphrased the words will be changed so also you're looking for meaning so I've written this on the board. You're looking for meaning. Meaning. You're not just matching words. So some people go to the questions. They are going back to the passage to look for the exact words. They are just they just want to match the words together and say, okay, the answer is true. If I can match the words, the answer is true. Or if I can match the words, the answer is false. It's not like that. Always. Okay. So you're actually looking for meaning so many students just try to match words but actually you need to match meaning and check the content of the information that is given and sometimes the same words are used but the meaning is not the same okay that's the one that comes with difficulty when choosing the right answer so not giving means the entire statement is not given in the passage maybe part of the statement is given but not the whole statement so if they give you part of the statement but they don't give you the whole statement it's still not given so always try the, the tip is always try always always so you always try always yeah always always try yeah let me make it like this so I'll see if it, there's a difference in, um, okay all right so always always try try to find try to find the whole meaning all meaning so always try to find the whole meaning so even if you see the partial partial meaning and you can't see the whole meaning don't pick true okay the answer is not given it will be false if the passage contradicts the statement. So you need to know your words and opposites, all right? You need to know how to recognize contradicting information. All right, so yeah, these are the tips for reading passages. Okay? Um, always spend time analyzing the statements in the question before you find the answer, before you try to find the answer. Okay, well, not always. Sometimes you can do that. Sometimes if you're running out of time, you can try to find the answer first and then go to the passage, all right? Many words will be paraphrased, so watch out for that, okay? If your passage says work, you can find employment. Or if your passage says changing, you can find the word altering in your question. It's possible. And then you know that, oh, these words have the same meaning. So they actually mean the same thing. Don't just match keywords. Some of the keywords might be in the passage, but it may not mean the same thing. And it may not mean that the answer is true or yes. Okay. The meaning of false or no is that the statement contradicts the claims or the information in the passage. So this means that the statement gives one meaning and that the passage gives another meaning. Yeah. Not giving means that the whole passage, the whole meaning... Of the statement is not in the passage that's not given the whole meaning of the statement is not in the passage okay so the passage might have the partial meaning okay but if it doesn't still have the whole meaning it's not given in the passage you can write c instead of true on your answer sheet but make sure your handwriting is clear because some people hmm, 
Some people write their false like this. Oh my God, look at that. This is false. How can someone write false? This is how they write false. Okay, so it, it looks like a true that has a cross, a line across it. What's the meaning of that? So if you're writing your true, make sure it's clear and it's legible. So this is your true. All right, and this is your false. Okay. All right. Okay, make it clear and legible so that the examiner is not confused. Because if they can't really decipher what you've written, then they, you don't score any marks for that. And you might actually be right. So, okay, so the answers follow the order of information in the passage for this kind of questions. So, other types of reading questions might not have answers that come in order. So, that's one good tip. So, when you see true, false, not giving types of um questions you know that when when they give you five of those if you have five of those like number one two three four five of those you know that by the time you've answered the first one the second answer will be further down so you don't need to go back above what you've answered before and that makes it very that makes it very easy isn't it? Other types of reading questions might not have those uh, that kind of arrangement, but at least you know that if you if you're giving true false type of questions, that at least you don't have to go above that to find the answers anymore. So learn common challenges or problems that you have in reading. Make a list of paraphrases that you've struggled with. So by the time you are doing those exercises, you know you would notice that oh, when I say this particular word, it confuses me. So that kind of word, you need to go to the dictionary, okay, and find words that have similar meanings to that kind of word. Find out what kind of um word it is in the first place. What part of um what kind of word it is? For instance, you have some words that are adverbs, some words are adjectives, some words are verbs, other words are pronouns, con conjunctions. You have to find out what type and how what type of word it is and how it is used. Yeah, okay. All right, so some other time we'll continue with sessions like this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos, for more informative videos like this one. And if you have suggestions of, you know, topics that you like me to talk about, my inbox is open. You're welcome to send me ideas, suggestions. And then um, I wish you all the best in your IELTS tests. See you next time. Bye-bye.